Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're going over how to shoot with proper technique from distance, so 18 yards or more. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna give you some demonstrations of me doing it. I'm even gonna give you a diagram of where you should hit the ball, how to lock your ankle, and all of that. That's coming up next. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give you a few examples here of what proper technique looks like. Um, in these examples, I'm mainly just looking to hit it properly. I'm not necessarily looking to put it in the corners, but a few of them like this one uh, will end up going there. So the first thing you wanna remember when you're shooting from distance and you're trying to apply proper technique is you want to concentrate on the contact of the ball and your technique over power. Don't worry about how fast you're swinging your foot. I mean, I'm sure plenty of you have had moments where you've looked at the ball, you had a rush of blood to the head, and you just tried to swing as hard as you can. Don't do that, focus on your technique. It's not a very heavy ball. If you hit the ball correctly, you're gonna get the power you want. But if you swing your foot wildly at it, you're not gonna get the power that you want, and in fact, you will lose power by doing that. So let's take a look at this example again. You'll notice a few different components about it. We're gonna look at it twice. Um, I'm going for contact over power here. I'm leaning over the ball. I'm locking my ankle, and I, I know that I don't need to smash it. I just need good contact. I hit it almost perfectly, and it goes towards the top corner. Now, I am going to show you a little later in this video what your ankle should look like and where on the ball you should be hitting. Uh, so make sure you, you stay in for that. Now, a lot of these examples, you'll notice I'm also leaning over the ball or my body is upright. I'm never really leaning back. As we'll take a look in this example, my body is slightly forward um, or kind of upright when I'm making contact with the ball. And you'll notice in these following examples, I'm also doing that. Now, something that's a little hard to tell is that I'm actually locking my ankle. Now, it is a little hard to tell, but if you take a look at some of the slow motion, uh, slow motion versions from earlier, or you just pause the video when I'm about to shoot the ball, and you look at it paused on the follow through, you'll notice that my ankle is locked, and this is very important, and we'll describe that a little bit later as well. And you'll also notice, like, with a lot of these shots, I'm not trying to smack the living crap out of it. I'm just trying to hit it well. And that's what you should be focusing on when you're practicing this technique, when you're practicing your shooting. Focus on hitting the ball correctly. Do not focus on trying to hit, you know, hit it as hard as you can, because ultimately that's going to end with you not getting much power. Okay guys, so I've shown you some examples of shooting. Now I want to show you the mechanics behind shooting so you can get a better idea in case some of you are not um, getting it from those um, clips. So first and foremost, when it comes to your feet, which we'll use these um, cleats here as an example, you want to make sure you're locking your ankle every single time when you shoot. Um, if you don't know what that means, it basically means pointing your toes down and keeping it locked in that place throughout your whole shot. You can definitely find some more material on that. I don't have much time to cover it in today's, but make sure your ankle is locked. The next thing is you want to be hitting it generally in this area of your foot. Now, I want you to feel for the big, but if in that area, look on your foot right now and look at the big bone on your foot or feel for it. There's kind of a big bone that goes down your foot. Do you feel that? That's where you want to be striking the ball with a locked ankle. If you lock your ankle and hit it in this area, you're going to get sweet connection on the ball most of the time. However, you won't if you're hitting the ball wrong. So before I tell you how to hit the ball, we first need to know where um, or what happens when you hit the ball in certain areas. So let's start with the bottom. What happens if you hit the bottom of the ball? It goes up. Every single time, the ball will pretty much go up if you hit it in this general area. For shooting, we don't want to do this, so avoid that. If we hit the top, the exact opposite obviously happens. It goes down. Now, this might sound okay, but I don't mean it goes straight. I mean it goes down, as in it hits the ground and bobbles. Sometimes this can be okay, but you lose a ton of power if you do this, so you want to avoid that too. Obviously, if you hit it on this side here, you're going to get spin going that way and if you hit it on this side you're going to get spin going that way so that actually isn't the worst thing getting that type of spin on the ball but it's not what we're covering today because we wanted to talk about good shooting technique from distance so we're going to be concentrating mainly on this middle area this is where you want to be hitting the ball okay if you hit the ball in this middle area with a locked ankle, with the big bone of your foot here, while also leaning over the ball, 
you're going to get amazing shots most of the time. That is what good technique looks like. If you need some more examples of this, just take a look at the examples I gave you and take a look at the slow-mo versions especially. Um, and also feel free to pause the video when I'm shooting if you want to see what my ankle looks like when I'm shooting, where I'm hitting it on the ball, and so on. And that's really it, guys. If you can lock your ankle and you can use this part of your foot, lean over the ball, and hit the middle you're going to get some incredible shots. Trust me, um, practice this a few times. I also mentioned this in the examples, but remember, please remember this every single time, is that technique, technique always is better than power. It doesn't matter how hard you swing at the ball. If you swing as hard as you can at the ball and you're not using proper technique, you will not take a good shot. However, you can use proper technique while swinging not that fast and still have a good shot. All right, guys, I'll leave it there. Let's get on to the next thing. Okay, guys, so let's recap some things really quickly that I think are super important that you really need to remember. The first thing is, remember, you do not need to try and hit the ball really hard. If you try and hit it hard, what's going to happen is you're not gonna concentrate on using perfect technique or good technique which is going to mess up your shot. Concentrate always on technique. That means focus on your ankle being locked, leaning over the ball, hitting the middle or upper middle to lower middle of the ball, you know, keeping that ankle locked through contact and just making good contact, hitting it on the right part of your foot. If you do all of those things correctly, then you don't need to swing hard. Remember, the ball isn't that heavy. If you hit it with good technique, it's gonna go fast. But if you swing fast and you hit it even a little bit um, off, it's just going to go into either, you know, row Z or it's going to go to the left or right of the goal and not go in. So make sure you're concentrating mainly on your technique. Another thing is make sure you remember to practice this. Remember, practice makes perfect. And this is especially true because locking your ankle, hitting the ball in the right spot comes down to muscle memory. And the way you develop muscle memory is by doing it over and over again. So practice your technique as often as you can. I'd say at least three or four times a day, just go out to a wall, a net or something and just practice the technique. You'll be surprised how well you hit it if you just concentrate on technique. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like button. We want to get at least 75 likes on this video. Also share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and all that. Let's get at least 10 shares on this video. Also, this is a voted video, so you know the drill. Go down below into the comments or the description, and you'll see the options for next week's voted video. We're going to have regular videos out next week. We should have a video out this Saturday as well after the week off. Um, and we'll definitely have a voted video out next Thursday. So make sure you like this video, share it, and vote for the next voted video. All right, everyone. And also, if you're new to Simply Soccer, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you're notified every time we release a video. Typically, we always release three to five videos every single week. We're also bringing the podcast back, but you won't want to miss out on that valuable information. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't. Okay, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.